It's Madden NFL 24. And coming up next, it's a cross-conference showdown. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Atlanta Falcons on Sunday night primetime. A full house expected here tonight, over 70,000, and the fans still filing the Mercedes-Benz Stadium just west of downtown Atlanta. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Atlanta Falcons. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee. Got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yeah, it's a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the thank you for the notice. This one teed up, and we are underway from Atlanta. Here's Richie James on the return. And up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. Right to the end is Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. Broke a tackle, but not much room there. Just up past the 25, no further. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, we know he can run the football too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw complete there to Rice. Ten yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the 43-yard line. No score. Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. As they've got it with second down and less than a yard. Now it's Mahomes again. Gets this into the hands of Gray, the tight end. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Mahomes now on first down. And this pass caught by Gray. 
And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. And again, it's Mahomes. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. He's going to find his tight end gray complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now a second and two. Mahomes going to throw. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. Here's second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're taking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Butker's kick here is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, if Coach, the yeah, first half, adjustments not likely going to play up a on. big role just in this third field goal quarter accounting for the a entirety of the scoring. So far. A 3 nothing game to this point, as both defenses have been strong so far.
These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. This is a game. It's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense going, but to erase that small deficit they currently trail by. I think they'd send a pretty powerful message to the opposite sideline if they drive it right down the field coming out of the half. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. Here's Ritter. Short throw caught by Pitts. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did it in a big way there. They need 12 here. It's third down. Ritter to throw it. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. Well, I see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset. This is the kind of play that will do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give-up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and it convert on third down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. The Ritter back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. First down, here's Ritter. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Second down. Here's Ritter. It's so incomplete. Back to back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down into installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Big third down. A field goal from this spot, 57 yards as they hope to move it a little closer. Ritter wants to throw it. And this nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it. Instead, one more chance coming up on fourth down. Partner, they 
You've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Now yeah, they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Uh, he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, that, you know, you and I both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. The Falcons are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now they need two. Here's third down. Now Mahomes. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion. And that should get him off the field with a three and out. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. This is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. So now Ritter and the Falcons down 3 nothing. Exactly one minute remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Ritter. London holds this one in. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. Back to throw. Ritter. Oh, but a great tackle there the clock runs not good they didn't move the football an inch and precious time ticking off the clock another try second and ten now throw now is Ritter another completion right back to Patterson and the clock will now stop the timeout is called with five seconds left Here now, third down. A final shot now for Ritter. This for all the marbles. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the game will continue for at least one more play. Could not finish a game on a defensive penalty. That's why they get one more untimed attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 
60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. So four quarters couldn't decide it, and it'll be the Chiefs who get the football first in this overtime session. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. KC's offense ready to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21 yard line. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play calls, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So he hooked up with a veteran there, and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go engage in the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. They run on first down as they get about three, second and seven, forthcoming. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and seven. Here's Mahomes. Into space at the 45. And gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. One overtime, how about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. Now second and five. to throw, it's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And that's gonna be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 19. Shaping up to be a very efficient opening drive here in overtime. And can you feel the tension building? Because I'm feeling it, all right? I've got the, I've got the sweaty palms here <laughs> with each play because of the enormity of what's going on. Each play means so much in overtime and they're handling it well as this drive continues. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Able to find Gray here. 
They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Ball at the 14 for second and five. Mahomes to throw it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Defensively now, the ultimate challenge. Of course, the ball gets in the end zone. This thing's over. And I remember my coach has always talked about in goal line situations, and now you're in overtime where they have to keep them to three points. Otherwise, this wing is done. Win your individual battle within the framework of the team defense. Beat that guy across from you and make a play. I expect them to attack on defense and not sit back. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And he returns this to the 22. So out come the Falcons now. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Ritter able to find Patterson, and he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. And he takes this almost to midfield. So they needed a pretty good size play, and they got it. On first down, Ritter. And he's got this to Jefferson. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Another throw coming up here for Ritter. 
And he slides and covers up at the end. Is he going to be able to pick up decent yardage? I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a set of downs. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. Ball start. Offense. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, Still that means the play down. call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Ritter will set up to throw it. Over the middle, caught by London. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 12-yard line. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's pulled for four now. That throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Back to throw, Ritter. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath, and boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here in overtime. Being chased out left. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown. He goes 12 yards on the touchdown run. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Ku able to connect on the extra point, and we are even at 10 apiece. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking beat that in Charles's defense they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field and frankly it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated they both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind to me it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other a running play they're going to get 10 and a quick first down Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Mahomes. Complete Valdez Scantling. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Mahomes will throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. 
And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. So the OT clock hits zero, and we're still not done. We'll switch sides and need at least one more OT to decide it after this. On first down, Mahomes throwing the out route incomplete. It's Rice. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. Mahomes now on first down. That ball caught. It's Rice. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A lot of efficiency here on this drive. Heck, this may be their best drive of the game. Yeah, if they'd moved it like this throughout the entire game, we probably wouldn't be here in overtime. But right now, what you just said was the key word, efficiency. Taking care of the ball, move it downfield, get themselves in a position to score and win this game. Well, the Falcons going to use another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Everything right now resting on the right foot of Harrison Butker. This to win it in overtime. And the kick is good. And finally, this one is over. We thought it may never end. But that kick puts the exclamation mark on it. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that. But let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. And I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Atlanta.